This is a video for GCSE Biology about pyramids of biomass. By the end of this video, you should be able to label a pyramid of biomass with the trophic levels, including producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. You should be able to explain why the pyramid gets smaller at each trophic level. And finally, you should be able to complete calculations and draw a pyramid of biomass yourself. Biomass is the total mass of the living organisms in a community. We can use a diagram called a pyramid of biomass to describe the different amounts of biomass in the different trophic levels within a food chain or food web. The different layers of the pyramid correspond to the different trophic levels, starting with trophic level number one at the bottom, which of course is the producers, organisms that can produce or make their own food. The majority of producers are photosynthetic organisms like green plants and algae. They transfer energy from the sun in the form of light, and they can then store this energy in glucose, which can be used later for respiration. Around 1% of the sun's energy is absorbed by plants using their chlorophyll and then stored in glucose as part of photosynthesis. There's also incomplete transfer between the other trophic levels. Only around 10% of the energy stored in plants is absorbed by herbivores and likewise only about 10% of the energy found in herbivores makes its way into the carnivore trophic level. There are a couple of different reasons for this. Firstly, not all parts of an organism may be eaten. There may be parts like tough bark or bones that are left behind and so they never make it to the next trophic level. Then, not everything that gets eaten will actually be absorbed into the organism's body. It may be that they don't have the right enzymes to break something down or it's just too tough, and so it's never absorbed in the first place. And then, even when you do absorb something, your body may break it down and you may excrete the waste products. So, for instance, if you eat something sugary, you absorb the glucose and then you complete respiration and you produce carbon dioxide and water, which are released, so those atoms are not staying in your body and becoming part of your biomass, they're going back into the environment. Likewise, if you eat something with protein in it, you break that protein down to make urea, and again this is excreted. You may be asked to draw a pyramid of biomass. The first step in doing this is to calculate the total amount of biomass contained within each trophic level. To do this, you need to think about both the number of each organism and the mass of each organism. By multiplying these together, you can work out the total biomass for that trophic level. So if there are a thousand cabbages with a mass of two kilograms each, that's a total biomass of 2000 kilograms. Then for the caterpillars, we have 100 kilograms, for the sparrows, 9.6, and for the kestrels, 0.8. You're expecting each trophic level to have around 10% of the previous trophic level within it, so this will give you a clue that the numbers you've got are right. However, be aware that drawing a scale pyramid of biomass using true numbers is quite tricky because it's quite hard to fit it all on one page without your top bar being really, really skinny. So it's possible that the exam board may give you numbers that aren't super realistic in order to allow you to actually draw the pyramid of biomass. Your completed pyramid of biomass should be symmetrical with trophic level number one, the producers at the bottom, and then each subsequent trophic level getting smaller from there. Your x-axis should be labelled both with the fact that it represents biomass and also with the units, kilograms, and you should also have a sensible scale showing the scale bar. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this a useful introduction to pyramids of biomass. If you did find it useful then let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCSE Biology updates coming soon.